kills, but then again, go, you know, go, teams go, are go, now go. Kills, XD. I mean, what do you? Okay, fuck this game. That should have went above his head and not straight into his head. Serious? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. As per everyone's request, I'll be covering the advanced mechanics of Paladins in this video. You may ask what advanced mechanics does Paladins have, but Paladins as a game has very interesting and unique mechanics compared to other FPS games and I hope to bring these to light in this video and show how you can use these mechanics effectively to get an edge over your opponents in the battlefield. Today. I'll be covering three main mechanics that stand out the most, firstly being the momentum mechanic, second the jumping mechanic, so let's begin with the first part being the momentum mechanic. So let's begin with the momentum mechanic. This mechanic is one of which which is unique to paladins and can be used to gain great advantages. This mechanic is caused by the physics of the game where your character moves and your momentum continues to carry you forward even though you are not holding your movement keys. So let's take an, uh, let's take an example of abilities that move you forward or when you are on your mount you will still carry that speed and the forward force whenever you go off a ledge propelling you forward even more than the actual ability numbers. This can be abused by multiple heroes but who have momentum based abilities but for now I would like to outline two which are Androxus and Leon. When it comes to Androxus it's not really how not really an ability but of how differently his jump mechanic works compared to other characters. When you hold spaces Androxus you fall slower which means you can actually maneuver and drift in the air. So therefore we can use this to our advantage and use the momentum mechanic with it. When you're on your mount you move faster than your average speed and in turn when you fall off a ledge and dismount you carry the forward momentum of your mount as you drift allowing you to move at mount speed while still being in the air and being able to maneuver, shoot and use abilities at will giving you an extreme advantage over your opponents. As of now, Andrew is the only champion able to do this due to how his drift and drift mechanic works with forward momentum. Same used to go for Rogos, but that was nerfed almost two years ago, and you, it's not possible to do it anymore effectively. At, that is. Anyways, it's time to show you how Androx's power drift works. Yes, I call it power drift. I don't know what to call it. Power drifting with Androx is only possible when you are on your mount. So when you are approaching the ledge with your mount, fall off and do not jump. While falling, hold space and press left click to dismount and you will carry the forward momentum of your mount in your drift allowing you to maneuver more effectively compared to your, uh, compared to your mount when required. As you can see in the clip in the background, I barely touched the ground and got the first two cle uh, clean kills and used the drift mechanic to travel from my side of the map to the enemy side with my dashes. This is a very common spot to power drift on Serpent Beach with Androxus, which yields very good results. Another champion who can use mom uh, who can use the momentum mechanic effectively is Lian. Lian's F ability is one of the momentum-based abilities in the game, which can trigger the momentum mechanic when she is using it near a ledge. It can be used to propel yourself forward across the map from one side to the other side of the map allowing you to both engage and disengage from battles that you want to take. Let's say you are standing on the high ground as in the clip in the background. Then you can use the full momentum mechanic to dash and dash off the ledge giving you a much more forward thrust compared to your normal dash length. It can be used to also disengage from battles but also you can die horribly like in the following clip. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the thing about Leon's momentum mechanic is that you can be very creative with what you do with it. But for an example, I'll show you a trick that I do on Bright Marsh to close the gap between me and the enemy, uh, enemy when I'm on my high ground and they're on there. So here, I am near the ledge and I use my F ability 
capability near the ledge to trigger the momentum mechanic and I thrust forward from my side of the high ground onto the enemy staircase allowing me to close the gap between between me and the Knessa and this also can be used to disengage from fights whenever possible. Let's say that you don't want to travel the entire distance of the dash length when you use the momentum mechanic. It can be easily cancelled by just simply jumping and then using your movement ability. In this way you don't travel as far and you still get the ability to have your aim lock, lock onto the target and shoot them while not really flying into the wall and putting yourself in an undesired position. Now let's move on to the next part of the video where I talk about the jumping mechanic. Talents has a unique mechanic that allows your character to jump higher when near an object with a ledge above it or near a wall. This mechanic applies to all characters but some gain more advantages compared to others. For example, Pip and Maeve have abilities that enhance their jump height so they can use this mechanic to greater advantages. Now let's look at Maeve first. Maeve is a special character who has the ability to double jump. This means that she can use her double jump to gain height from walls which allows allow her to traverse and juke her opponents with greater finesse. Also Maeve as a whole has her F ability Prowl which increases movement speed and jump height at the same time meaning if you are creative with the jumping mechanic you can get to places that you would not be normally able to access with your normal double jump. Either way, let's get into one so get let's get into an example. Something that I use on Stone Keep that to get control of the enemy high ground. When you want to take over the enemy high ground after the push, you run towards the high ground with your prowl and hug the tree as you run. Then use your jump to trigger the jump mechanic. This makes you jump higher and you are able to use your secondary jump to line up and enter through the hole and take your shots forcing the enemy back or down towards your team. This is a very nifty trick as you save your pounds cooldowns for either killing or maneuvering after you get up there. As for Pip, well, he is the master at using the jumping mechanic as using it as part of his core kit and how you actually play the character effectively. I will, I am not that good of a pip myself, so I will use one of my friends clip, his name is Zverse and you may know him on YouTube, so I will use his clip to show an example of how to use the jumping mechanic in the top tier way possible and as flashy, it's gonna be very flashy. So everyone keep your eyes on where he uses, where he jumps and how he uses the jumping mechanic near ledges to get onto high ground. To get an advantage over his opponents. Anyways, take it away, Verse. And with this clip, that covers the two most important mechanics in the game. Now for now comes a bit towards more of the additional tips. When it comes to Paladin's mechanics, there is one more thing which may give you an edge over your opponent, but it's not that practical to do. It is the animation cancel of reload. You may say that yeah, that will be very good, but in most cases you won't even be needing this and you won't even remember to do this during the combat phases but it's something good to keep in mind that you can cancel your animations for reloading by using certain abilities this applies to all characters but some can, of course some can do it better than others this this wasn't part of the main video because as i said it's not that impactful but either way you can use this with every character but seemingly victor is the best at this because he can cut his reload animation in half which will substantially increase your dps and also help save your life in a lot of situations and confirm more kills in the following clip you will see that to animation cancel with victor wait until you see your reload reach here and then press your sprint button this will cut the reload animation in half and instantly reload your gun back to full without having 
having you to go through your entire animation and wasting time there. This means that you can substantially increase your DPS, catch your enemies with surprise, and thus, in the end, get more kills. And with this, the guide comes to an end. The video here is just to introduce you to the mechanics so you know them. So try and experiment and use them creatively, covering all the tips and tricks with every single champion and how they will use these mechanics. It's going to make the video one hour long and I don't have the patience to cover everything as well. So in the end, just be creative and keep the mechanics in mind and I have shown you how to use them so it will apply to every single character. So go and experiment. And finally, thank you all for watching the video and thanks for the support and feedback on the last one. We nearly hit 200k, uh, 200 views on that last one and I hope to see more. I hope things have improved from the last one and sorry for the very weird mic quality in some of the clips as I don't have a good mic yet. Anyways, I hope this helps you in your future endeavors and I'll catch you in the next one.